Hello and welcome to this new class where we are going to upgrade our Laravel 5 project to the Laravel 5.1 version. Today, at the June the 9th, the Laravel 5.1 version is finally released and has a little changes that we need to perform to make our projects work in the latest version. The Laravel 5.1 version is the long term support so it means that basically Laravel is not going to make important changes in the functionality for many at least one or two years so of course they are going to perform some security issues and some team performance issues but basically we can be sure that in the next one or two years we don't need to make some upgrades to new versions, changes, some things like we are going to do in this class. So, if you're coming to this class after the 9th of June, so basically you don't need to perform anything of this class because maybe you are using the latest version, the 5.1 version. To verify your version, use go to or to your command prompt and issue php artisan dash dash version and here you have in this case we have the 5.033 version but maybe you will have the 5.1 lts version so be careful with this if you have the 5.1 version so we you don't need to perform anything for this class if you have the 5.0 version so basically please follow the next steps so to start with the upgrade we need to update our composer.json file so for the current version of laravel in the laravel github repository the official repository so we need to copy basically this piece of code and paste it in our composer.json file here. Don't forget the comma and be careful with the other dependencies if you have another one. So now we can go again to our command prompt and issue composer update. And this will start with the process the process to update this project to the 5.1 version but at the end we are going to obtain an error that is related like the upgrade git said that we need to update this path we basically need to create a directory called catch inside the bootstrap folder and inside the catch folder we need to create a git ignore file we have here the dedication changes that are basically that we don't need the word at the registrar instances to our authentications functionality so basically we are going to remove this for our out controller and use the validator and create functions at the same way as the registrar in our own controller now if we go here we can see the error with the catchy folder so basically we have to go to our project in our bootstrap auto load and here i'm going to remove this because it's not necessary now and paste the code here and now we just can use this piece of code so basically if the file exists so require the file if not so we are going to have an error we need to create the folder of course so new folder cache then inside the cache folder we need to create the that git ignore file and we are going to copy this piece of code here perfect paste and that's all so now it will run composer dump auto load we are now ready so if we go to our project and refresh this is still working as we go to register a new account we can use for example one email 
the password, the question, and of course the answer, and register. We have this error because Laravel 5.1 is looking for the validator method inside the out controller here. So remember that we are not using now the registrar dependency. So if we go to our out controller here in HTTP controllers out out controller, we have here the out and the registrar. So we basically don't need this anymore. So just delete this here great and now we just need a new dependency that is the validator and if we go to our services in registrar we are going to copy the validator method and the create method then we can remove the registrar here delete and in the out controller we just need to paste the exactly the same code so now we have the validator and the create and Laravel is making is performing for us the logout the login and all the other functions with the out facade so we don't need to take care about that because it's automatically performed by us now if we refresh here continue so it's working now. We are logged in and if we go to our albums, we can create as the same on all the times our albums and the same for the photos. It's all working perfectly right now. So congratulations, you are now using the latest version for Laravel and was really easy in fact. So that's all. If you have any questions, any suggestions, so please let me know about it. See you in the next classes.